I got really sick, got diagnosed as having multiple sclerosis, um, and saw, heard, as I was driving to work, heard free horse to good home on the radio. I'm like, I'll take the horse home, knowing absolutely nothing about horses, and fell in love with horses hook, line, and sinker. Over the course of the last two years that my daughters have been riding here, I've really seen a drive in her, which has kind of motivated me more to learn about horses and about equine therapy. If they're helping me to get through something that is hard, they can help others. One thing that continually impresses me about Holly is that her heart is so big and in the right place, she will do anything to help support the students. She welcomes students to the farm. She's willing to pack up the minis and travel wherever needed. She does activities where students are brushing horses, walking horses, talking about things. And really when they're working with the horses, they're learning amazing coping skills. It's simple and calm and peaceful. This atmosphere creates a place where mindfulness and thoughtfulness and what's another word for it? Even, you know, meditation can happen here. Holly has been able to provide a very natural therapeutic, um, unconventional way of meeting people where they're at, whether it's with a mental illness, physical disability, or some type of emotional, behavioral struggle that someone might have. Horses have the ability to, um, they match their heartbeat to the human's heartbeat. They match their breathing to the human's breathing. Most people don't know, but horses um, are very good therapy animals because they can understand if I'm having a bad day before even I understand it. I'll get a message at like midnight that'll say, hey, we need to send out this message to talk to these this troop or this Girl Scout troop or Boy Scouts. It's just it's like she's always thinking about new ways to touch more people and to be bigger and to um, teach more people, which is, I think is really inspiring. A lot of the kids, adults, a lot of the people will start to open up just with a simple thing of brushing a horse or just being around him. There's so much rhythm that goes into grooming that horse and that rhythm goes back to, um, you know, infancy. It goes back to uh, a pregnant mother. Um, just being able to provide that natural rhythm to somebody without them thinking, okay, what's this therapist's next move? I'm gonna figure her out. Um, and just kind of letting things happen. It's really beautiful. Every single group of students she has worked with, we have seen improvements in our students. Typically, this method of therapy is extremely expensive, and so it's very limited for students to have this access. So without her being able to have this partnership with us, these students wouldn't be able to experience this extremely important type of therapy. Every place I go and every place I take the miniature horses to or the big horses to, there's something that helps. She just truly thrives to help support mental health in our community with these horses.